Hey everybody, it's John here from vidgimiac.com. Here we are today back in Dead Rising 3, grabbing the Collector Achievement, which is to pick up 250 different weapons. Now, I'm going to show this as linear as possible from the beginning of the game. If there is ever a break, I will show you in the map screen where I am so you don't get that lost. Hopefully this will be easy to follow. I tried my best editing this together. So the first weapon you're going to pick up is story related. It is the large wrench. You need to bust down the door. And when you get to the next screen, you pick up the shovel, the 2x4, and the pallet. My best advice for this achievement is to pick up every single weapon you see. And if you are unsure that you haven't gotten it yet, pick it up anyways, because this achievement is to just pick them up, not to use them, like in Dead Rising 2. So we're going to skip ahead here. This is when we get to the dark area with the sandbags. Hop over the sandbags, and over here should be a few new weapons. You should find the medical tray as well as the office chair. After you get those, we are going to skip ahead. This is the area where you are introduced to zombies for the first time. They're in the cages. And you should be given the flashlight in the cutscene, and that will count towards the weapon. I dropped it and picked it back up just to show you that you do have the flashlight. But keep going on. Once you see the cop car, to the right of it will be the nightstick. You might want to swap out the shovel or one of your other weapons for it. But it will be here. At the beginning, you can only carry four items, which is unfortunate, so... It will have to do. You will find the sledgehammer a little later on. If you are having trouble seeing in the beginning, turn up your brightness. As always, this is the area where you fight zombies for the first time. You find the fire axe over here, and then you will find the step ladder over here. And you're gonna pick that up. Picking up stuff is a pain in this game, just like every Dead Rising game. You have the power drill here, and over here you have the paint can. And some more pallets in case you missed them, and the gas barrel. And you want to make sure you pick those up. Once again, accidentally picked that up. Meant to pick this up, and we are going to go into the medical tent. There are some stuff in here. You will find the wooden crates. And with these, I recommend breaking every wooden crate you see because they might be uh, items inside. So there's the chef knife and the machete in here as well. And we're going to turn around. There should be a briefcase outside and just like the crates I recommend breaking these because there are sometimes goodies inside most of the time it's food but sometimes it will be an item like in here there will be the sawed off shotgun so you want to pick that up I'm pretty sure each crate briefcase or box is random so you just want to break every one you see over here there will be the buckets careful not to kick the buckets both literally and figuratively but there will be the pitchfork there I missed it but make sure you get it but there is another one later on the lead pipe is right here and if you jump this uh, once again make sure you grab the pitchfork you want to go around here and behind these Humvees will be the flash grenade and you can use this to stun zombies you'll find the meat cleaver over here in the center area so make sure you get that make sure you get rid of your flash grenades first and uh, try not to accidentally stun yourself. Oh, you could break those things open too, but there's nothing inside. And we're gonna kill that guy. Over here should be another medical tent with the Asseltine tank in it, or Asseltine. Just like the Dead Rising guide, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, you also have more gas barrels. Remember not to set this tent on fire, because the results will not be good. Anyways, jump over the sandbags and you should find another medical tent over here. You'll find the pylon here, or the cone as normal people call it. You'll find the bone saw, and once you're in here, you'll find the surgical saw. It's like a Dremel tool that's bigger. And you'll find some more wooden crates. I recommend breaking these because they have bowie knives inside, which are a new weapon so far. And then you have the crowbar here, and you also have the hatchet that I almost walked past but I went back and grabbed it. After you get that, you can leave the tent, and this is after you jump your first barricade, you'll find the tactical handgun, and this is the only place in the game I've found it so far, and you wanna make sure you grab that, because obviously everything counts towards the achievement, so you have to get it as out of the way as soon as possible. You have the cinder block on this truck as well as dynamite. Once again, every new item you see, just pick it up and get it out of the way. And the sooner the better, obviously. Once you jump down, you have trash cans, or garbage bags, rather. That's the thing that goes in trash cans. And you have uh, baseball bats. Or a baseball bat, I should say. There might be two there, maybe, I don't know. 
Anyways, uh, running past, you want to stay to the left. There will be beer here. Food does not count towards the achievement. I just pick it up. I, I'll just point it out if you need health. Uh, there will be a car exhaust here. That counts as a weapon. And you want to get that. And this is after the cutscene when you're outside in the land of sunshine and zombies. You will have the gas container. And you just want to throw that over there. Over here, you got some coffee you need to heal up. You have the backpack. And over here, you have the motorcycle engine. Now, with all the items in these zombie areas, uh, if you are having trouble going through these without dying, I recommend just putting off all these items till later because they do reappear in the city. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go for them now because I'm that kind of person who puts his life on the line to get achievements. But you have the leather briefcase here. It's mostly luggage items, so keep that in mind. If you miss them here, there are luggage stores later on um, that can help you out because normally you're supposed to go through the... Uh, cars to avoid them, but I'm crazy and get all the items. There's a crossbow in the back of this truck for some reason So you can get that out of the way don't see these too many uh, too often in the city but uh, you yeah, have the hunk of meat over here and Then over here you have the tire you want to stay to the right good place to avoid zombies and Then you have some more stuff here you have a fire extinguisher, make sure you get that, as well as the construction hat. And over here, you just have a buttload of items. Once again, if you're having trouble going through this part, just skip them for now. So you have the handbag over here, and yet you have the duffel bag over there, as well as a travel luggage. But once again, going through this is very, very dangerous. You have the suitcase here as well. And uh, still trucking along, trying to avoid zombies, picked up another handbag. Uh, another travel luggage right there, so just keep all these in mind because this is a pretty tough part. Alright, we are in the plane now. Nothing new here, pretty much the same luggage items for earlier, so if you missed them, you can get them here. But uh, once you get to the top, that will start the next portion of the game. So still checking along through this fire and explosions and about to die, but once we get here, should be in the clearing. Once you go down, you have the road barrier here, and you can pick that up and throw it into the crowd of zombies. And there are items down there, but I recommend avoiding them because obviously, as you can see, there's just a buttload of zombies there. So we're just going to avoid them. Just jump across the cars and you should be safe, just like in the trailer. So you have the hubcap here. There's actually a few items on top of the cars, which is uh, pretty cool too. So obviously, you have the hubcap, as I just mentioned. And still going across the cars. Try not to fall down, obviously. And once you are here, go across these cars. You have some more 2x4s in case you miss them. And you have another car exhaust in case you missed the earlier one, as well as a cinder block. Another hubcap here, and uh, still chugging along through here. Gonna cut ahead. This is when we get to the end of the street, which is in a tunnel. You want to go here. There's food here. A lot of food if you need healing. And you will find the plastic bin here for the first time. Uh, jump the railing. And there's a save point here if you need it. Next to it will be a broom. And then we can cut way ahead. This is when we get into the diner. And in here, you are told to build a combo weapon for the first time. So obviously that requires you to pick up the cement saw and the sledgehammer. So, Cement Saw is new, Sledgehammer is old, but you have those two. I'm not sure if combo weapons count towards the achievement, I just threw it in. You have the Sledge Saw right there, might count as a new weapon, might not, but you have the plates on the counter, as well as the cash register. So get those two, and uh, they took out money in this game, so you can't break the cash register to get some casholas. You have the cooking pot in the kitchen, as well as a microwave and the kitchen knives, which I have not seen anywhere else in the game, so pick that up. I'm pretty sure it's in some restaurant later on in the other parts of the cities. I didn't find any during my playthrough, but uh, you might have better luck with your kitchen knife finding. Anyways, leave the diner to continue on to the city. And outside, there's not too many new items out here yet. I found the metal barricade, which is literally right outside. Can't miss it. And a little bit more down, there are a handful of items. This is right before you get to 
tutorial to use a car. As you can see, you have the SUV there. You can jump in the bed of this truck and find the box of nails here for the first time. You can also pick up the power drill if you haven't gotten it already. You have another duffel bag here. And I recommend breaking it because there is a bowling ball inside. And we're going to head into the tunnel. There's more luggage here in case you missed it as well as the small suitcase, which is different from the regular suitcase, keep that in mind. But here you have the grenade, and you can blow stuff up with this. And now you want to start the tutorial once you are sure you have all the weapons out of the way. So open up the gate, and you can take the car, which is what you're supposed to do, but if you're like me, you decided to walk and pick up items. So if you stay to the left, you'll find the brick there, and there's another briefcase wedge underneath that car. But you should find three items here. You have the hot glue gun applicator, you have the boxing gloves, and the football. So you want to make sure you grab those. Stay to the left, because that's the safest route through this crowd of zombies without taking a car, as well as the route that has the most new weapons. You have the leaf break right there, and now we're going to stay to the right once the street narrows out. So, just gonna stay to the right, try your best to weave through zombies. Another hunk of meat there, in case you missed it. There will be the water gun here, as well as the suitcase. So, lots of luggage items everywhere. There's a taxi there you can drive if you are starting to die. But there is a food truck at the end of the street, which has a ton of food so you can heal up. There's onion rings and fish and chips and bald water. And behind said food truck are three new items, which are condiments, which actually count as weapons, just like the other two games, or three Dead Rising games, so five now, if you count the two side games. So you have the ketchup, the mayonnaise, and the mustard. So add those to your repertoire. You're going to take a right and head through the tunnel. In here, you'll find scissors for the first time. So you might want to pick that up in case you missed it. They do reappear later on. You also have gems, another hubcap, as well as the riot shield and baton here. And after you get these, you want to pick up the construction hat in case you missed it from earlier. But there is the barbecue, which is tipped over by this truck right here. And there's propane tanks here as well if you need them. But to the right of that, next to this lamp stand, you will have the electric prod from Dead Rising 2. And uh, actually not Dead Rising 2, the first game it appeared in was Case West, and then it was an off the record also, so that's what I'm thinking of. Anyways, make your way down, you have the mailbox on the sidewalk, make sure you pick that up. You have another flash grenade there if you need it. And we are going to cut ahead, this is before you get into the crashed helicopter so you have an assault rifle right here and you can use this to break open boxes once you get in here make sure you pick up the LMG which is to the right hurry up and pick it up because when the zombies swarm here it's really hard to get through the door so I recommend picking up really fast so after you get that we are gonna head down the street this is right before we head into the diner stay to the left you will find the hat rack here you can go in the stores if you want to there's a few new items there but uh, I recommend putting that off for later when we actually get free roam of the city, which is right after you get into, not the diner, the um, mechanic shop, which is like a diner for cars. Uh, you have the high back oak chair, and with chairs and plants, I recommend picking up each one you see because once again, they all look similar, but they all are different. So you have the small fern tree right outside the mechanic, and after you get that, you have another small suitcase there, and you have another chair, which was different from the other chair. This is the tall wooden chair, the other one was the high back oak chair, so they're all different. It's just like Dead Rising 2. Right outside the mechanic, you'll, uh, you will have the mechanic creeper, which is like that thing they use to lie down and change your oil or something. Uh, and then you have the dolly outside, you have those two. I pick up my shotgun from earlier, and uh, head on inside. In here, you will have... Um, the mechanic shop, it's pretty safe from zombies at this point in the game because uh, Rhonda barricaded herself in. You will find the cooking oil here. You will also find another creeper if you missed it outside. Over here you will find the toy robot, the cardboard box, and motor oil. And you can combine the toy robot with the cardboard box to make the jack-in-the-box once you pick up that blueprint right there. Saving that for another video. And uh, once you get these two, or these three rather, you can head on upstairs, there's tires there in case you missed them, and a 2x4 there. Over here you can pick up some OJ if you need some health as well as a snack. 
But the things we are looking for are going to be scissors, because we missed it earlier, or at least I did. You probably didn't, because you you're smart. Er, than me, but you will have the computer case, the keyboard, and the LCD monitor, as well as whiskey and the office chair in case you missed it earlier. Now we're going to head outside the city. This is where you want to pay attention because it's very easy to get lost out here, as said in the tease of the game. This is like bigger than all the Dead Risings smashed together. So I started by going to the right towards the Chinatown area. Over here I found the utility cart, really close by to the um, mechanic shop. but. Get that. You also have the shopping cart you can use. Buy some spoiled apples and a box of cereal. Eat that. Hopefully, it's Lucky Charms. Uh, over here by the dumpster is nothing. Don't know why I pointed it out. You will have another small fern tree. Once again, with these plants, just pick up everyone you see, even if it looks unfamiliar. You have a backpack if you missed it earlier. And you have the patio table as well as another high back oak chair. So once you get those two, take a right and head on here. You have the fancy bench here, opposed to its brother, the regular bench, which we will be getting uh, a couple minutes later. And you have the large planter. Get that. You're going to head into this store. And in here is some more stuff. Where you got that chair. Get the CDs and get the portable stereo here. And uh, once you get those two, you can continue on. You have another pair of scissors if you need it. You have food, you have clothes, which I will be making a separate guide for. You have the indoor trash can, and you have the round potted plant. You also have the boxing gloves if you missed it, as well as another motorcycle engine in case you missed it. So that's in the middle. Make sure you grab those. After that, you can leave the store, and out here will be the ad board. You want to make sure you grab that. Careful not to kick it. The items are pretty floaty in this game, so they go flying Like if you kick them or if you accidentally hit them. Outside will be a few other stuff you can get if you missed, as well as the newspaper box. And in here is this console fix-it shop. You have some more computer parts in here, but most importantly, the game console. And in here, you have some OJ, so you can drink that up if you need healing. You have the laptop, the household cleaner, which is like a bottle of Windex, or like any other glass cleaner that's not super name brand. Uh, so get that. You have the speaker over here, and you have some other stuff in case you missed it. You have the TV, which comes in two flavors. You have like the HD CRT that's like silver. You also have a regular CRT. They count towards the same item. You also have the HD TV, which doesn't count towards the same item. It's a different item, so make sure you grab that. You also have Robot Bear. He's my homie from Dead Rising 2 and off the record. And uh, here we go. Get that. You also have some uh, more stuff here, but most importantly, the nail gun in that box. Outside, you have some more stuff. We're going to take a right and head towards the barricade. Over here should be some new stuff, hopefully. You have the handgun and the grenade in case you missed them. You have rations there if you need healing. A brick, grenade, and an assault rifle, and pretty much nothing new. Uh, you can break that open and find firecrackers. That's new, so do that if you need firecrackers. Uh, you have another car exhaust there. It's going to speed along through here. As you can see, there's nothing, so... Speeding this along so I don't have to list everything. But once you get here, you have the sandwich board, which is different from the ad board, so make sure you pick that up. And then we're going to head through here. You have the travel luggage in case you missed it. Once again, those luggage items, if you missed it in the beginning, they're all over the place, so you can't miss it. We're going to stay to the right now and get the garbage cans, the plastic one. And that. We also have the regular bench. I told you we'd find the fancy bench's cousin. It's right there. Anyways, another flashlight. You couldn't have missed that earlier. It was, once again, it's story based. You have the padded blue chair here, so get that. And then you have the bedside lamp. Make sure you get that. And in here, you have the coffee table, so get that. It's really cool. It's made of all glass. You ever try picking one of those up in real life? It's really hard. Anyways, head over here to this construction area, and you should. Find this door, bust it open, you will find the dragon head here. It's like one of those things from Chinese New Year. And get that, as well as the parasol or umbrella. 
Get that. Comes in two flavors, just like the TV. You have the black one, you have the colorful one. Both counts towards the same item, though. You have the golf club here, and once you are outside, this is kind of like the Chinatown area. It's like a temple or something. In here, you will find the battle axe for some reason. It's in the middle. And then, over here, you should find the shopping valuables, as well as some cake, if you need it. It's not a lie. And uh, other reference-like stuff. But you have the round potted plant here. I'm not sure if we got this yet, but once again, with those plants, make sure uh, you get it if you are unsure. Plants, chairs, stuff like that. You have the rocket fireworks in the middle, and then you have the spear, which is a little hard to see, but it's there. And then you want to head to the left, you should find this barricade of patio tables, but in here somewhere should be the katana sword, as you can see here. And then you have some Chinese food if you're hungry, and uh, you want to head into this corner to the left, you should find some new items. There are firecrackers over here in case you missed it, there's the other katana sword I mentioned. But in the corner will be the Reaper Mask and the Scythe, and those are new items that you should pick up. And uh, it's good two for one right here. And you have some more fancy benches, and we are going to leave now. Head towards the exit. Over there you should find the Roman Candle, which is another type of firework. And make sure you get to that. And after you do, go outside and continue your item hunting. By this car should be the hair trimmer, which is another item I've yet to seen anywhere else, so get that. Over here, I missed it, but there is shampoo there, so make sure you get that. And in this truck, that's the same truck from earlier, I believe, with the coffee table. So we're just gonna walk past that. And uh, keep chugging along through here. You have the flare gun here, and make sure you get that. And it's gonna keep working our way through here. There should be a fridge in the truck bed of this truck. And get that. See it roll down the floor. And now we're going to go straight and take a left into this antique shop. There is the vase. I recommend picking that up because I missed it the first time. But anyways, go through here. Follow this until you find the park. You should find the keg outside by a taxi cab. Get that head on in the park, because there's a ton of new items here. You have the hibachi, which is like a Japanese portable grill, I guess. I don't know, I haven't used one, I don't own one. Uh, anyways, you have that. And I threw it out, it landed in the basketball court, so I thought it was a different item. You have the dumbbell here, and get that in the benches. You have the giant hookah, apparently these people like to get blazed while playing basketball. So throw that. You have the giant cookie, which isn't a weapon, so eat it. It's delicious. And you have the basketball, you can try to make a slam dunk. Or not, because the poop is really high. Just like in real life. But anyways, uh, go through here. It's gonna speed along me going down the street, pretty much. Take a left until you find this uh, apartment complex right here. You have the chainsaw here. And now go down the hallway. On the right wall should be the painting, and you wanna keep your eyes peeled for it because it is a weapon, just like Dead Rising 2, and uh, I missed it here, but went back and got it. It's the small painting, and now we're going to go outside. You have the lawn chair out here, which is a new item. Haven't seen it in any of the other Dead Rising games. And you want to take a right, and you should find this little hut right here. It's like a thing that people at the flea market live in. You know those like weird tents that are made out of sheet metal and plywood, and like poles with like rubber bands and duct tape? In there will be the uh, acoustic guitar, and head on down, you have the uh, particle board here, and uh, that thing breaks easily. We're just going to speed this along, pretty much us just going back to the street. You have this apartment complex right here, in front of it should be an amp and a guitar. There's also a survivor outside if you care to rescue those people, but once again, trying to save that for a different video. I'm uh, gonna go through here now into the housing area. This is where we found the first survivor. You want to go on the roof by jumping on this like UPS truck. And then over here should be the soccer ball. And you want to make sure you grab that. Apparently some kid kicked it really hard and it flew up here. He might be the next Pele. But we are going to go through the sunroof. You can either break it, but we're gonna do the cool way and kick a soccer ball through it. In here, in the living room, will be the grenade launcher, which I haven't seen anywhere else. 
so I recommend picking it up. It's a cool weapon too, as all grenade launchers are in any game. And uh, it's by the couch, so it's right here. Yeah, you can blow some dudes up with it, and what have you. You also have some apples on the couch. Make sure you eat those, they're good for you. And, uh, grab that, pick up my grenade launcher again. And now you want to head into the kitchen, and there you should find the coffee pot next to an open refrigerator, which is contributing to global warming. So make sure you close your fridge when you're not using it. So bust down the door, and you should be outside. See the buffet place where you fight that one psychopath? Spoilers. Uh, it's locked right now. But if you stay to the left of the sidewalk, you should find the large tire, which is different from the regular tire. And you can build a tire swing out of this. You also have the parking meter, which isn't really the parking meter. I guess it's the pole part. It's missing the little thing you put the coins in. But on the right should be the truck with two tennis rackets. One inside and one outside. Head down this alleyway where the truck was. You should get to this uh, parking lot. There will be a wheelchair here, as well as dynamite if you missed it, and a battery to the right. Also, you can find weapons by opening the trunk of cars, but most of the time I find it's like orange juice or an energy drink. So I, tried, I try to avoid them. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a pain to go out of the way. Alright, showing you a map. So our first break, pretty much, I wandered the city and got lost. But over here, you should find the movie theater, and next to it will be some stuff. You have the Servbot mask and the life preserver. And everyone knows the surf bot from Mega Man Legends, Mega Man Legends 3, rest in peace. But you have the life preserver, which is, it preserves life. And uh, in here you should find the comfy chair. These things are cool. Find them at the uh, dentist and sit in it and relax. Really big chair for only one person. You also have the drink cart making its return from Dead Rising 2. And over there's some more repeated items like the um, reaper stick, what's it called? The sickle? God. Uh, you have the gumball machine by the counter, and in this dressing room, you should find some hangers, as well as another suitcase, and the, um, something, the handbag, yeah. Oh, uh, the scythe, that's what it's called. <laughs> it finally came to me. Uh, whatever. Uh, head across the alleyway into this, uh, stairwell, and you should find the steel shelving, once again from the second game in here. And another break over here to the left of the first part of the city. Sort of like GTA where it's divided into islands, but uh, by this truck will be the MMA gloves. So there are four main chunks of the city pretty much, so I guess it's like the four islands. So in GTA it's always like three, so something like that. But anyways, we're gonna head out through that store, and to the right of it will be a dictionary, and the best weapon in the game, right? A uh, better way to uh, fight people with knowledge. But over here will be the lawnmower. Once again, making its return from Dead Rising 2. Was it in Dead Rising 1? Not sure. It's been a long time since I played that. But uh, get that. And over here, you know, stay to the left. Take a left here. You can hop on this truck if you want to. Get that axe if you want to. We are back in the housing areas. But this time we're going to go to the backyard across the street. In here should be the leaf blower, I believe. Over here. And if you weren't stupid like me, uh, you would have got the pitchfork earlier. But there is another one to the right of this house. So get that. And um, then you want to head over here and uh, go in the neighbor's backyard. There's a muscle car there. That's another achievement to drive 20 different cars. Once again, making a, another guide for that. There is the broadsword sticking out of the ground here. I guess it's like Excalibur. So get that, and over here will be the indoor trash can earlier, so in case you've missed it, you can get another one here. And uh, you have n more lawn chairs and stuff, another break, we're gonna go over here, and in this alleyway should be the mallet, it's like, what's it called, the dead blow mallet. I guess it's that thing you use to tenderize meat. So, go over here now, once again another break, this is the travel store, bust open the window, you should find the desk lamp in here. So. Make sure you grab that. And this does it for the main island, so the first island of the city. This is when we are going to fight the first boss. So the end of chapter 1, you should build a turret rig and head across the highway. You will drive across this thing of liquid nitrogen, which will freeze all the zombies. And inside that truck should be just a buttload of liquid nitrogen, which counts as a weapon. You should also pass by this uh, army truck, and inside are two RPGs 
which are really good for the boss fight. So pick those up. They only have like a few rounds in them. So they're, they're not that useful. But before you start the fight by going into the barricade, you will find a shotgun right here. This is different from the sawed off, so make sure you pick it up. It's the regular shotgun. During the boss fight, you'll be introduced to Molotovs for the first time, which count towards the achievement as well. They are on this barrel. You pretty much have to pick them up because they're they are the most efficient way to take care of the boss. And uh, make sure you grab them. Alright, so starting chapter 2, once you do stuff, you are going to follow this road. You should find the shoulder purse for the first time. This is when you get to the second island for the first time. You want to take a right up this staircase. You will find two mannequins here. You have the male mannequin and the female mannequin, which count towards different weapons. But unlike Dead Rising 2, you can't throw it and break it up into like the limbs, which count as other weapons. You can't do that in this game. Unfortunately, it would have really helped out. But over here, there is the vase, in case you missed it earlier in the antique shop like I did. You also have the corn cart, which sells popcorn. Or it might sell corn, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe that's this game's version of hot dogs. There's like corn carts driving around during baseball games. You also have the outdoor trash cans, like the steel one with the domes you see in any metropolitan city. But uh, get that, head on into the restaurant and just go through. There's food in here if you need health. But head across the street towards this car dealership, sells sports cars, they look like Lamborghinis. And uh, in here you should find the water cooler and water bottles for said water cooler, both counting towards a different weapon. Careful not to kick the water bottle, that thing is really, really flimsy, it flew like five blocks there. Also it rolls, which is a pain, so pick that up. And now another break, we're going to head into the corner, once again this is the second island, so if you're having trouble looking at your map. That might be the reason. You have the Speedy Espresso here, which is a coffee shop. And inside, head into the freezer, and for some reason, there is a traffic light in here. I guess that's how they make their coffee. They use the uh, LEDs to uh, make a secret ingredient. But anyways, head on down the street, and to your left should be this parking lot with one of those gate thingies. And you can actually break this down, or have the zombies break it down, and that counts as a weapon. It's a parking gate meter bar. But by the medical truck, which is in said parking lot, should be the organ cooler, as well as some other items we got earlier, but you can re-get them here, like the medical tray and the mechanic creeper. Head upstairs, this is to the left of the entrance of the parking lot. Up here is like a kid's clothing store that's owned by Coconuts, which is the gym or athletic store in the second game. In here should be the RC car, as well as Robot Bear again, in case you missed it, and some grenades for some reason. I guess grenades are new kids' fashion sense. But outside will be some food. The bag of marbles. I actually got that during the boss fight. It was in a briefcase. Uh, so get that if you haven't gotten it already. I already got it off camera, so I didn't pick it up. But uh, showing you people who didn't get it during the boss fight. To grab it there. Heading down here, you should find the pogo stick. I always wanted one of these as a kid. And the cool thing is if you throw it like a spear, it actually bounces off, which is really cool. And... Uh, Heading down here, past the payphone, shout out to Maroon 5, should be the um, some gym equipment. There's a gym here that's locked, so I'm guessing you go here later in the game to fight some psychopath. Not sure, so I'm not technically spoiling it. There is the dumbbell here, in case you missed it, from the basketball court. There's two of them, in fact. There is the yoga ball here, and you can get that next to some bottled water. And throw that, get your Pilates on, right? Down here, another duffel bag, and the yoga brick, which looks like a cinder block made of styrofoam, I guess. Are they made of styrofoam? Not sure. Not a fitness person. Too busy playing video games. In this corner, you have a restaurant. It's owned by Slappy, the crazy dude in the second game. You have the RC helicopter. And, uh, just throw it on the floor, why not? You have the toy spitball gun by this arcade game. Just really wide for some reason. It's like X-Men Arcade, or like those multi-screen arcades. Uh, but anyways, you have the Blanca Mask here, which is a weapon. You have another gumball machine, in case you missed it. Head on outside to go to the School of Broken Dreams. Signs as keep out, but we're gonna go in anyways. Because these people need to learn that cars make a terrible barricade, because you can just jump over them. But here is another water gun. For, so for some reason, high schoolers are still using water guns. Lame. I know. But... In here you should find the school desk, which is pretty cool. I wish I had one of these. It's one of those where you can like open the wood part and put all your pencils and stuff in the bottom compartments. 
I don't see those anymore. Actually, in fact, I've never seen them in my whole life. But anyways, head down towards the train station. You should find more paintings here, each of which count as a different item. So you have the fancy painting here, which is pretty much the Mona Lisa. You have the small painting from earlier, in case you missed it. And you have the this painting, uh, fancy painting, again. Uh, you also have the regular painting. Uh, so get those. You also have the vase, in case you missed it from earlier. In that box is the game console and the laptop and some other s electronics, in case you missed it. But head down into the train station. You find a coffee shop there. I'm going to cut ahead because it's a lot of going downstairs, and that's always boring to watch. Go to the middle part. You should find the aptly named Large Metal Pole. And once you get that, you can poke some zombies. And after that, we're going to cut ahead because... Navigating through the train station is a pain, but you want to head through the upstairs part and up here should be like a locker room and in that should be some sports equipment. There is the dead blow mallet in case you missed it earlier as well and in here is the tennis ball launcher which is what we're looking for. So make sure you get that and now you want to head outside. This is the construction street that leads to the third island. So you can hop on that motorcycle if you want to get this faster. Uh, but there will be chemicals here, which count as a weapon. So make sure you get that. There's also food there. A lot of super rations. And uh, throw your chemicals. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde style. But you want to stay to the right. Over here should be a very small item that's easy to miss. But it's an item nonetheless. It's the baseball. So make sure you get that. I almost missed it here. And get that. You can throw it. And uh, over here will be the traffic barrel lid. Once you get to the end of the street and go through like a construction yard, you're going to appear on the third island. This is where I busted out the map for every item because by now you should have a lot of items and it's pretty easy to get lost on this island because most of it's under construction. But by the power plant should be the pickaxe. Over here by the other freeway entrance should be this glasses store, which has the rotating display. Uh, like a little bit down the street over here should be this meat factory. You're going to have to jump a barrier to get to it. It's like the, you know, the hamburger store, like hamburger fiefdom from the second game. This is where all the meat's made. And in here should be two new weapons. You have the saw blade, which is right here, as well as a new weapon exclusive to this game, the captive bolt stunner. So yeah, it's like a taser, but more down the street in this like three-way intersection should be the strip club, Speedy G's, and in here you will find this chair. Not sure if we got it already, but I'm just going to get it once again, making the whole chair rule. Make sure you get every chair you see, but you should find the massager in quotes. Uh, over here you have the keg in case you missed it, but you also have whipped cream from Dead Rising 2. And you have a broadsword here in case you missed it. Hack rack in case you missed it in the corner. Uh, head upstairs and take a left. You should find the bedside lamp in the coffee table in case you missed it from earlier. And you also have the horse head right there. And make sure you get this and get to the horse head. And get that. Now we're going to head over here to this huge area. It's pretty much a construction lot or like a shipping yard almost but once you're in here you want to go down and buy this room should be the six shooter and actually our last item is in this truck it is the jewelry bust so make sure you pick that up that should be 250 at least by my count and this is where i got the achievement it might take you a few more items i'm unsure about the count but there it is five gamer score and that's it